Imagine being on a scooter and you see yeah, that one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Dear, yeah, you're scared of the dead. Yeah, you're very, scared very and you're from here imagining us. This is a uh, part of our view right here. This is part of the crater all the way down there. You believe we're like walking right next to this. There's this little trail that takes you down there. Mm, breakfast is good today. They don't share, huh? Nope. Oh. When it's a parent. Oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> So tonight we are getting ready to go to sleep. It's actually, what time do you have? 7.54. 7.54 and we're gonna get picked up from our place here at 1 a.m. or so, 1.30. Uh, we're gonna start our journey. We're gonna head out to Mount Batur. One of the most gorgeous places to catch a sunrise, but you have to start your journey from early on. I'm already a little tired, so hopefully. We're not even gonna sleep like five hours. We're not gonna sleep not even five hours. But that's the part about traveling and journeys. You just get moments that you just never would and you gotta make the best out of them. So let's check it out. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Do sure. you want to put your bag here? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Florida, man. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Where are you from? I'm from, yeah, from Bali. Bali. Nice. Originally from the one hour later. Whoa, this is crazy. I'm scary. Now I want to take a second to let you know what exactly is about to happen. We didn't realize this was going to happen. We didn't know what was up. And even our driver was like, what the heck is happening? I'm not even kidding you. He was also scared out of his mind. Just to think, you were in the middle of nowhere on your way towards this trip and you just get halted and stopped by this dude. Actually, I didn't even get the guy that was in his outfit. He was in this demonic outfit, just dancing in the middle of the street coming towards us. And behind him were just massive and massive amounts of crowds of people. I didn't have my camera up and ready at the time. I was just waking up when all this was taking place. Imagine being on a scooter and you see yeah, that one. Yeah. Whoa. How, how, uh, like every day? No, only in the in the third morning. Yeah. Yeah. How, how long they do it for? Oh, yeah, it's a lot three, of people. Three, huh? three hours. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing at like two in the morning. <laughs> it freaked me out. It freaked our driver out. I'm really, really scary with this. <laughs> Culture with this dance. <laughs> Seriously. Dear, you're scared of the dance. You're very, scared very and scary. you're from here imagining us. It was one of the highlights of our night on our way towards the volcano. 3.28 a.m. About an hour later, we finally make it to Mount Batur where we were going to start our hike in the dark. And again, this is one of Bali's active, uh, currently active volcanoes. Okay. So you can't see much right now, but we are about 20 minutes to the top or so. 20, yes. 30 minutes? 20 minutes. Do not add. Do not add, yeah. 
and I'm covered in sweat right now. This is during rainy season and we're climbing. If you guys are worried about bringing extra jackets, I would say I think you're fine with a long sleeve and an undershirt. Wendy's got two shirts underneath and she wants to already take some off. So, And then if you're, we wore jeans on here too as well. So you might want to bring some shorts so afterwards you guys can climb down and you know enjoy a little bit more of a breeze. We're gonna go ahead and continue. So once we reached the top, we had time to kill. So Wendy, how do you feel we made it? We made it, we have an hour to spare. <laughs> what time is it? So it's 5.14, can't see anything. We can like take a break. <laughs> the longest break. A long break. A long break. <laughs> yeah, the moon is out. And you can kind of see like the trail of people yeah. down there. We were greeted with coffee, tea. <laughs> So Wendy's enjoying her tea. her tea. This is a coffee they made me right now. Yeah. No better way to start the day than yeah. having a cup of tea or coffee on top of the volcano. Yeah. And we also had breakfast. So breakfast is served. Huh? Eggs from the volcano. Eggs, yeah. These eggs are boiled from here, right? Yes. Look at that view though. <laughs> and after breakfast, Wendy and I, alongside with a bunch of these strangers, were getting mentally and emotionally prepared for one of the most beautiful scenic views we've ever shared together. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Spectacular. <laughs> So we're just getting ready to have the sunrise happen. Oh, check that out. It hasn't even begun yet. Until the sky has fallen, I'll be around. I'll be there night and day. I'll be there both night and day. Until the stars have fallen onto the ground. spectacular isn't it? It is. Yeah. So beautiful. It's so worth it. If you're thinking about doing the Mount the tour hike, it, <laughs> definitely do it. Look at that. This thing is better than this. After sharing one of the most beautiful sights we've ever seen, we wanted to take some time and explore a little bit more up top before we head back down. We also came across a bunch of monkeys. Oh my god, this one has a baby! Mm, breakfast is good today. Okay, let me record you. It left you. It abandoned you. They don't want me. Many of you may know this, but monkeys are a curious creature. They tend to jump on you if you have something shiny on, and especially if they can get a scent of snacks, food, water, whatever. If they can see it, they can smell it, they'll definitely jump on you to get it. So they just, just stole our water. <laughs> Now, this may not be a problem to some of you, but then again, you gotta keep in mind, here in Asia, just like dogs, monkeys are exposed to rabies. Not all of them have it, but it's a hit and miss, and you have to just be careful. There were some people out there, they were pretty brave. They were just feeding them like it was nothing. Yeah. All right, here you go, buddy. Whoa, I was pretty fast. Yeah. I was trying to give it some slow. How did he open it? He snatched it my hand. I'm like, here you go, buddy. <laughs> they don't care, huh? Look, oh. when it's a pair of... Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, yes. yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 
my hat. Yeah. <laughs> Another cool thing we saw before we head back down was where they boil the eggs. They take them right to these like hole in the walls. They're connected right to the bottom of the volcano. And it's amazing. You get really close, you can just feel the heat. But our tour guide was all like, take this scent and just blow it right on the hole and you'll just see the blue smoke come out. It was awesome. Well, you didn't so what do you do? You just blow on it? Just blow. Oh, yeah. It's so that. cool. Oh, wow. That's so cool. You want to try this? So now we want to give a big thanks to the guys that took us on this tour. It couldn't have been possible without their help and their guidance. So we appreciate them for allowing us to be part of it. Now we bought this via Airbnb under experiences. And we're also going to have a link of it down below. We recommend these guys at 100%. They were very professional. This guy picked us up early in the morning. He was already waiting for us. <laughs> Check them out. We're gonna put their link in below. If you're curious about what else to bring, long sleeve jeans, and you know, if you want to swap out clothes afterwards because you get tend to get a bit sweaty, that's fine. But also, we do recommend to bring a blanket. It gets pretty chilly up there once you're settled in and waiting for the sun to come up. But other than that, we had a great time. These guys again showed us around, explained a thing or two, and it also brought us back down and even took us way far back into our hotel, which was like about two hours away from the mountain. If you're watching this video. Thank you so much. And I hope if you are thinking of going on a trip in Bali, you guys take this experience. It's, I mean, you can see for yourself. It's one of these once in a lifetime experiences. They're just remarkable. Big thanks to everyone. We love you so much. We appreciate you sticking around to the end and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.